let's take a look at how you build up the infrastructure of your club to make it as strong as possible. The ground screen shows all the buildings your club can develop. You can zoom in and out, move the view around, and rotate it. There are many buildings to upgrade, each bringing powerful benefits to your club. The maximum upgrade level for each is based on your club level. For more info, check out the wiki. A building can be upgraded if it has a yellow construction triangle by its name, and these will disappear if the building is currently under construction. To upgrade, simply click on the building, and then click Start Construction. Construction takes place in real time, and may take from 5 minutes for the first level up to hundreds of hours for the higher levels. You can complete construction early by spending tokens, and the more construction time remaining, the more tokens this will cost you. Construction also has a high club cost, an upfront one-off payment to start construction. The higher the upgrade level, the higher the cost. The amount of time left to finish construction is shown by the green progress bar above the building. When a new level is ready, you have to actively complete the construction. This will supply tech points to spend on the building's tech tree, and will also give you a duffel bag to open, which will give you various kinds of rewards, like extra tokens, cards, and or club cash. The stadium upgrades slightly differently in the early levels. The stands themselves are upgraded separately to the stadium building. The stadium building cannot be upgraded to level 6 unless all the stands have been upgraded to the maximum size. At level 6, you can choose your stadium design, some of which are free and some cost tokens. Upgrading a building gives you points to spend on buying tech from a building's technology tree. Each tech branch provides unique improvements and benefits for your club. Click on a tech upgrade to see more info about what the tech does. And when you're ready to upgrade, click the button here. More info on specific techs can be found in the wiki. Some tech improvements allow buildings to generate cards every day, or some buildings only provide cards in certain situations. For example, the office building supplies contract cards only when you have an ongoing player contract negotiation. These daily cards last for the day they were generated on, but if unplayed, they will disappear at the end of that day. In addition to cards, tech can also supply card energy towards your general club energy balance, as well as club cash and tokens. When a building generates any of these things, an icon will appear above the building for easy collection. Lastly, there's the amenity building. Amenities give your club powerful benefits such as the ambulance, which dramatically decreases the chance of player injury on the field, or the Broadcast Studio, which increases chances of post-match token rewards. The Immunity Building works differently from others, as you don't need to upgrade it directly. Instead, the Stadium has a tech that allows you to increase Immunity Plot capacity. Once you have placed an Immunity in its plot, it will stay active until you swap it out. Swapping an Immunity costs tokens, and the swap takes place at the end of the season. You can cancel a swap at any time, and your tokens will be refunded. That concludes our grounds tutorial. You can learn more about how cards and tech upgrades affect your club in other tutorial videos. Thanks for watching.